Hey guys, it's Kat Von D and I am so excited. For this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to contour a heart-shaped face shape. So my good friend Steph here has uh, agreed to help me out. For this kind of shape, I'm basically focusing more on contouring the upper side of the face and highlighting the bottom. Let's get started. All right, so let's pin Steph's hair back. And for the first step, I'm gonna use my Locket Featherweight Primer just evenly spreading this formula across the entire face using your fingertips. My favorite primer in the entire world and I think it works wonders. So I'm gonna use Locket Tattoo Foundation in her shade. Using this stipple brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply her shade on now. You can tell how easily this formula just glides across and evens everything out. So I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush and blend out any little edges, make sure everything's on smooth, and it is. And now Steph is ready for some contouring. Steph is definitely a fair maiden, so I'm gonna kind of stick towards the two lighter shades in the palette. Using the more rounded, pointier side of my shade and light brush, I'm going to use the shade Somber and just start by uh, softening these corners on Stephanie's forehead, really just blending out this contour into the highlight of her forehead. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and bring down more contouring into her cheeks. Next, I'm going to take that same dark shade and go ahead and add some definition to Steph's jawline, but I'm not looking to add too much contouring to the bottom half of her face. All right, let's match the other side. One neat trick that I discovered recently is, you know, if you add a little bit of a deeper contour shade to the bottom of your chin, really adds a lot of dimension. In photos and such, it definitely makes a big difference. All right, let's highlight. So using Lucid, I'm going to gently pat some highlighting all alongside her jaw, and then let's highlight her chin. I'm gonna add a little bit above her lip, and then of course, on the bridge of her nose. Once I finish that, I just wanna go ahead and blend out that highlighting color all the way to her forehead. Make sure you're even on both sides. And now for a little bit of nose contouring. I like to use more precise brushes when I'm doing noses just because you know you really don't want to look like you got socked in the face and a lot of times I think when you're using a bigger brush you could definitely create that look on accident so I'm gonna go ahead and focus on giving Stephanie's nose just a little bit more definition especially the closer it gets towards her nostrils I'm gonna go ahead and sweep a little bit on the underside of her nose and unlike the other tutorials that I've done for contouring, I'm gonna actually bring the contouring for this look all the way up past the bridge of her nose and under her brow bone. Already you can see how much depth this brings to Steph's face. We're gonna go ahead and add some highlight to her eyes. This instantly just brightens up her eyes. And there you have it. We have successfully contoured Steph's face and now let's just uh, do a quick little complete look. I'm gonna use my Interstellar palette and add some shimmer to her beautiful blue eyes, a little bit of brow, a little bit of lip, and the hair goes down. <laughs> awesome, I had so much fun doing this tutorial and I hope you guys loved it. Hopefully you guys try some of this out and that you love the Shade and Light contour palette as much as I do. And thank you Steph so much for helping me out by volunteering and letting me do your makeup. Oh, this has been such a treat. So I shall see you next time.